Okay, so uh, I thought I would talk about what um, what I've done here to get my, uh, this is a 96 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I imagine at least the 96 or 98s are the same. The 93s to 95s are probably close. Um, but <clears throat> what I've done to get um, trailer wiring added to this, if... Uh, if anybody else runs into the same thing so what I've done here and this guy up here I just happen to have already because I've got a, a radio back here I do ham radio um, but this is a thing called a rig runner it's basically just a power distribution box so up at the front here this guy is fed directly from the battery these are uh, these connectors are called Anderson power poles by the way great little things uh, this is power for the radio that's on a 25 amp fuse this guy will get two, and then we got 10 amps here, and this is feeding a, I believe this was a Kurt, what's that on here? I think the kit was from uh, Kurt Manufacturing, the company's called, they make a lot of other trailer junk, let's turn the light on here. Maybe not. Um, but uh, basically what I did is bought the Kurt, um, it's called a T-connector kit for trailer wiring. And if you can see in here, you get a connector that will go in between your factory harness. This is one end, and then this end up here is the other end of the factory harness that goes out to the taillights. And that T-connector goes in between and then splits off into this box here. And well, basically this box just has, a, a I assume, some relays or some other solid state logic in there <clears throat> to feed power to the uh, the trailer lights you get a flat four connector out of this so that's why we need 12 12 volts up here they say it takes 10 amps i um i imagine it's more like six to eight but you know over spec it so this guy's coming up here to my 10 amp circuit and then what you get out of it and obviously there's another side of this for the other tail light um, for your turn signals to work properly. I just ran that. I took this trim piece off and ran it underneath of there and then up the other side connected to the tail lights. And you get a flat four connector out, which is great if you have a trailer that requires a flat four connector. But I am rigging this thing up to uh, to pull my camper with uh, just a small pop-up um, so I need that that is a seven pin connector and if you open it up you can see there's a lot more jazz in there it's got the usual stuff like marker lights and um, <clears throat> backup lights and all that junk but also has a 12 volt circuit for any other accessories on your uh, your thing that you're pulling, in my case, I've got a 12 volt fridge back there that we don't really use, and uh, trailer brakes, which is why I wanted to get this thing connected. Um, and you could just buy one of these adapters if you only needed the lights and not the extra 12 volt feed. Connect your flat four up like I just did, and now you're good to go. You've got all your marker lights and turn signals and all that, but I needed to get 12 volts into that thing also. Um, so that my trailer brakes would work. And this connection right here is going to the two 12 volt, well the ground and the 12 volt pin on my, my seven pin connector down there. And you can see if I plug it in. I'm feeding this thing with 25 amps. I don't think it's gonna need that much. If my research is right, the trailer brakes are gonna draw probably eight to 10 amps. But you can see if I plug that in, the indicator light back here that says I've got 12 volts working lights up. And you'll also notice the vehicle's off, key's turned off. Um, that's because we're feeding this right off of the battery. So we do not want that because now if there's anything drawing 12 volts and we stop the vehicle, we got to either remember to come back here and unplug this or hope the battery doesn't get dead, which is not ideal. So this is where the fun parts and this is why it, fun starts and this is why I thought I'd make a video. Um, but what I did, um, I picked up this, if anybody's interested in a specific part number, um, <coughs> excuse me, it was basically a, uh, a relay kit for, <coughs> oh, excuse me, an electric fan. Um, I live down the, 
the road from one of the summit racing facilities so luck it out lucking out there um anyway uh basically it's just a relay but i picked that up for like ten dollars and it came with a nice wiring harness and um some leads already connected and all that junk so if we look at this relay the red wire is your uh your line this goes back to the battery or you know if we wanted to wire it that way you could run this you know just all the way to your battery um the orange wire is going to end up going down here to my 12 volt supply to the 10 pin or 7 pin connector and then we also have a uh ground connection which we're gonna need so what i've done is taken the uh the leads for the coil and the resistor if you don't know what that or not the resistor the relay um basically a relay is just a, a switch that you can turn on electrically so there's a, a little coil in here that lights up when you put current through it and when you apply 12 volts to this yellow lead black one's are ground um when you apply 12 volts to this yellow lead here it closes the circuit so now electricity will flow from the red wire coming from the battery to through the relay to the orange wire that goes out the connector down there. And um, it's a good setup. My challenge was that I needed to find somewhere that made sense to connect the yellow wire here that actually activates this so we get current. Um, and what I ended up doing, and this is, uh, I'm going to call it Gerald rigging, and which is a, uh, if you haven't heard that one, that's a slightly classier way to jerry rig something. Um, basically what I did was, went down here, this is the wire that uh, came off of that T connector kit for the, the flat 4 connection, and I forget what green and yellow are. Um, brown is the running lights or the marker lights and the white is the ground and that's a fairly uh, universal standard but you know check your pin out if, um, if you follow it all the way to the connector it's the the uh, the on the side from the vehicle the bare pin is going to be your ground and then the one right beside it should be your running lights let's get that plugged back in so we can actually see something here. so When I turn on the lights in the vehicle, we're going to have current on this brown wire because it's going to want to turn on the marker lights on the trailer. We're getting a ground from the ground on the flat four connection. That will activate my relay. We've got this connection here that I'm plugging into my 25 amp circuit. Here we go. The ground wire, if we follow it here, I've got it just taped to this orange wire to keep it tidy, but the ground wire is going to go to the ground connection on my 7-pin connector, which is this guy. So this is the positive feed to it. That's the ground. So ground goes directly from your 7-pin connector to, in my case, this distribution box, but it could go directly to your battery ground if you're not running one of these guys. So now, I'll plug the other end in, like so. There we go, like so. This guy is probably longer than it has to be. You just jump right laying around. So this is going down to our seven pin connector. You'll notice no lights. We're gonna go up here. Turn on our vehicle lights. Actually, the marker lights would probably work. I'm not sure if the marker lights would turn on the trailer markers or not. Yep, they do. So <laughs> we're gonna drive with our marker lights on in the vehicle. And you can see down here, I, I really like these connectors with the LEDs because it uh, makes it easier to troubleshoot your wiring if you have trouble with your trailer wiring. But uh, this one, if you can see, it says TM. The M is for marker, so that's the trailer marker light. And up here, this guy is the 12 volt feed. 
and when we turn the vehicle lights off. Disengages the relay. No juice back here. <coughs> so, now I don't have to remember to come back here and unplug something or have a switch somewhere to remember to turn off, etc., etc., to uh, keep the uh, the trailer from draining the battery. Um, so, hopefully that helps somebody. This would be applicable to just about any, it's mostly older vehicles that, uh, you know, were intended for a flat four and instead of that seven pin jobby. Um, so anybody doing something similar could use this. It doesn't have to be specific to this vehicle, but, uh, hopefully that helps you out.